Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from Mark Woodman's Breakfast Club. And together the three of us from Mark Woodman's Breakfast Club. And uh, happy Tobacco Advent Day 22. And I got to tell you a story. Do it. So, I'm down in San Antonio, Texas last week um, for my uncle's viewing. And my mm-hmm. folks picked kind of a sketchy budget hotel. Now, it was right down the street from a uh, Hampton Inn, and I thought, I'm just going to go down to the Hampton Inn and stay. But the more I thought about it, the more they wanted to hang out and do stuff and have breakfast together and yada, yada. And it was a quality inn and suites, and, you know, that's a real brand, but it was $39 a night. That's cheap, at least by my standards. The places that I stay with my company tend to be... Maybe they got an AARP discount. Could be, but the places I usually stay are Hampton Inns and Holiday Inn Express, and at that level, right, that tier. So we, we, I go into my room, and I can tell this place is kind of long in the tooth, and even though their lobby has been remodeled, the bedroom or the room's not awesome. And it's a little mini suite, so you walk into one room, and it's a, you know, a TV and a, a desk and a, and a couch, and in the next room is the bedroom. Yeah. yeah. And there was just something about it that it's like, I'm going to flip the mattress over, I'm going to look Ugh. for bed bugs, I'm going to check for everything to make sure that this place is legit. It seemed okay. Well, the next morning I wake up, and there's a funk in the room. And I'm thinking, is it the filter in the air conditioner? Because sometimes yeah. they don't clean the yeah. filters out. Check the filter, not the filter. Mm. Um, I literally am smelling things in the room. I'm, I'm putting my nose on the duvet. I'm checking the mattress again. You know, maybe somebody has split the mattress and thrown a dead body underneath it. Yeah, I mean, something, that happens. Something about it was just musty. Mm. You know, there was a stain on the floor, and I wasn't about to get on the floor. But um, you know what? This must have been the night I arrived because I was still in my stocking feet. So I stood on the spot for a minute and then pulled my sock off and gave that a smell. That wasn't it. It wasn't pleasant, but it was all me, all my fault. <laughs> so the next morning, I go down to the front desk. I'm going to be staying there for four days. Right. The next morning, four nights, I go down to the, to the front desk. I ask them, you know, can you explain this? I checked the filter. I did this. Thing. They said, you know, our maintenance guy will be in the day. I'll make a note, have him check on the room. So um, I come back that next later that day. I asked them if they got a chance to look at it. Yeah, maintenance guy looked around. I don't know if he did anything, but he... He checked your room out. So I go up there, seems to be okay. I'm laying in bed, and all of a sudden I get that smell, that musty mm-hmm. smell. And it, oh, it was just driving me nuts, but it wasn't consistent. You know, it wasn't yeah. like, you know, I could point to any one thing. And I went around the room again. I'm smelling, 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 nothing. Smell my sock again? Can't find it. Didn't smell my sock again. <laughs> Cannot find the smell. Now you'd think a guy would check out of a hotel room or even out of a hotel. I was too tired. Yeah. I just want to go to bed. Plus your CPAP has a filter on it. Yeah. <laughs> Small little filter. The visit ends. I go to the airport. I'm standing in line for security. I take my jacket off. And as I throw my jacket over my, my arm, I smell that smell again. And now I'm thinking, where did I lay my jacket? So I'm smelling my jacket. It's clearly there, but it's not there. It's not actually on my jacket. Like ghost. uh, Yeah. yeah. So I I take my wallet out of my pocket, a few things out of my pocket, and I open the exterior pocket on my, um, uh, it's not a briefcase, what do you call it, the messenger bag? And I am hit full in the face with this smell. (laughs) And I look inside the bag, and inside the bag is the package containing today's tobacco. Now, I gotta say, we've been sitting here, and this this generous viewer, what's his name? This is uh, A. Brown. A. Brown sent us four tobacco think? samples, four of his favorites, and we just stuck our nose in all four. And all four individually smell perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. But when you combine those forces, it's like the wonder quadruplets <laughs> come together and just 
That was the smell yeah. that I was complaining <laughs> about. He said, "He said, oh, this is not, this is not going to be fun. This is not going to be fun. The bag smells super gnarly. It does, it was, it was, but and it was wrapped up. I understand why it was kind of subtle too, because it was the tobaccos were all in this bundle that was taped and wrapped shut. So there's some insulation here. So whatever was escaping the, was the a bag. combination. And so, yeah, this is, and it's a combination too. It also smells like this, like this styrofoam too. So it it has like." Weird tobacco mixed with a little bit of acetone or plastic smell as well. Yeah, it's but gnarly. It, it, it's but the like, tobacco smells fine. It's like take, taking foods that individually taste good, smell good, right. but together their combination's not good. We're not smoking all four of these today. We're not nope. smoking them together. But wow, I was, I'm was i so thankful. And we probably won't even get to I all was, four during tobacco advent. Maybe not, but I, I'm so thankful. <laughs> Not to be smoking. Because I, I told I told Jandy, I said, we're going to smoke that tobacco today, and I am not looking for it. She's like, well, this don't smoke it. I said, no, we're going to smoke it. He's been he's been complaining about it. So, Andy, thank you for sending these along. Thank you. For not sending <laughs> whatever it smells like. <laughs> so today, we're going to smoke uh, Sutliff, another Sutliff. Uh, Sutliff Christmas Spice, a rich aromatic blend of caramel, vanilla, and cinnamon notes over a base of Virginia Burley and Black Cavendish Leaf. Mm. A combination of things that ought to go together. It definitely has that spice on the um, the tobacco. Wow. So we're already into a long tobacco advent episode, but I, I had to share that story, and I cannot begin to tell you the relief I'm feeling right now. <laughs> All right, so let's get to our question of the day. Uh-oh, our questions are getting scattered here, boy. Here you go. What's your least favorite holiday side dish? What's green beans. There it is. That's it. I don't like green beans. I don't like green beans well, okay, in casserole. I don't like green beans in in cans. I don't like green beans in soups or stews or hot boiled. However, people like to make them. They always think they're delicious. They're disgusting. Green beans are disgusting to me. Mm. So Even your grandma's recipe. I'm sure you think they are just the beans. Except for the way your mom cooks them, right? They're all terrible to me. <laughs> and and living in the South, it becomes every person I talk to's personal challenge to convince me that their green beans are okay or their nanas or someone they know makes the best green beans that I would just be in love with, not gonna happen. I don't like them. So fundamentally your like problem them. is with green beans. I don't like them, green beans. But I need some help with, with list some holiday side dishes. What would be a holiday side dish? I mean, let's stick, let's stick with Christmas and New Year's and Hanukkah. Well, I, I, would say, I would say Thanksgiving. Festivus and... I, I would say Thanksgiving through... Ramahana Kwan's Mass. Through all those New things. Year. I don't know the New Year really count. So I, I think like, you know, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, green beans, cranberry sauce. Um, a lot of people do hams for Christmas because they do turkeys. But that's the main dish. Um, in our house, often that's like deviled eggs. Um, uh, I guess stuffing could be if you're doing a turkey. Um, uh, some people make like, like dishes with nuts. A lot of nut dishes. Oh, like anything that someone calls a salad, but it's actually Jello. You know what I'm going with this? That that, I, that just helped me define yeah. what I don't like. I don't like those fruit salads mm -hmm. that have mayonnaise in them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and if somebody insists I try something, I will always ask, is that is that whipped cream or mm -hmm. what is that? And sometimes it's whipped cream, sometimes it's cream cheese, but if they say it's mayonnaise. I'm allergic to mayonnaise. Yeah. yeah, those are not flavors that should go together. They don't go together. That's why they shouldn't be used together. Yeah. They go together like these four tobaccos that we received. Right, today from, right. From, from there you Andy. go. That's a good example of that. Yeah, I, I feel the same way about a lot of things that are, are called salads that aren't salad. Shouldn't be called salads. I don't understand. Like, What makes a salad a salad? All right, I'm not a, a chicken salad. 
I'm not a fan of chicken salad. You know, usually, that's, that's the presence of mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, Jello salad, which it, is like just usually Jello and fruit. But see, I think what makes it a salad is when it's served too. I mean, well, I mean, if you serve it early in in the the you know an early course in the meal, and that's when folks consider it a salad. And again, it may contain lots and lots of fruit or even vegetables. I've had salads, but aren't Jello salads oftentimes served as a dessert? No, Jello salads are not served as a dessert usually. Mm. No, they're served as an earlier course. And then my, my my least favorite of the Jello salad type things would be like celery. Who would put a worthless vegetable like celery into uh, something like that? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. All right, there you go. <laughs> There's ours. Uh, anything that's called a salad that has mayonnaise in it is mine. And yours is a Jello salad. No, no. Green beans. Green beans. Oh, oh that's right. That's right. The okay. worst. The worst vegetable. The worst. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Green beans are one of the few things that even make bacon taste bad. You can't, you can't redeem, you can't even redeem green beans with bacon. You can cook them in all the bacon fat you want, still, no go. Alright, how about you? What's your least favorite holiday side dish? How about the tobacco? Hmm. It's all this Christmas, Christmas spice. It's a little bit spicy. It is a Christmas miracle. Yep. Amen for this. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. You don't Andy. even care how good it is or Thank how bad you. it is. It's just not all of them together. Thank you. Know, we you. should we should do that in the new year. Combine the we four should combine together. the four see and happens. see yeah see how it is. Oh, I really I really do think a lot of it that you were getting was was the plastic and the tape. I really think what? that yeah it's it's no yeah one hundred percent no one hundred percent. I mean here's the thing. There were three different tobacco packages yes. in that bag. Four. So I'm saying along oh, with this, oh, there were oh, a few others. Oh, so, so you had a, a whole lot of yeah. potential tobacco tobacco funk. Yeah, so I ended on. up, once I got home, I took all those out of there and, and stuffed them each into their own Ziploc freezer bag. And that's where they have been living I'm since. still confused, though. Why, why exactly did you take them with you across the country? I, I stopped by the house on the way to the airport. They ah. were in the mailbox. Since gotcha. we're moving out of that house, I didn't want to leave them there because who knows where my wife or daughter or whoever might right. have gathered yeah, them up. Yeah. So they, they got moved and put them in, in the garage of the new place or something. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. That makes sense. All right. Answer the That's question. It. Make a but great day. Like. And we will uh, see you again tomorrow. See ya.